Last session of the day, and then I guess there's a panel at the end of the day, or what do we have? Everyone, you guys are passionate. You want to go to the very end. Awesome. We'll see. All right, well, um, hopefully we'll have a little bit of fun today. Um, this is an opportunity um, to run through a simulation where we can be, uh, it's going to be going from all sorts of uh, chaotic to even more chaotic here as we get going. So the confu confu from confusion to chaos. Uh, so this is a value uncertainty game. Uh, my name is Todd Little, uh, VP of Product Development for IHS, um, data, data analytics company. Um, let's see, let's see if this is going. Okay. I was going to look at the jelly beans. We're going to do that if we still have time at the after finishing this. We may do a, a little jelly bean experiment too. So, um, how many of you were in the talk yesterday? Mythbusters, quite a few. So I, I, I left you with a click cliffhanger here. Now what? So we're going to do a little simulation of sort of the now what. So uh, just a quick review of what I just went through yesterday. Uh, first of all, we had a test. We did a bunch of tests. We did a bunch of tests of different things. Oh. And then we're uh, looking at whether we actually have, uh, how good are we at estimation? Uh, a little bit of gratuitous uh, humor here. Oops, let me zip through this. Go through this quickly. Little stories. We basically suck at estimation. I think we know that. So uh, is it understood? No. We, we are not very good at estimation. We're going to experiment some of that today. Uh, significantly estimation accuracy significantly improves as the project progresses. Is basically the cone of uncertainty. Um, that's pretty much not true either. Estimation uncertainty is pretty much uh, consistent. Estimations are frequently impacted by biases. Yeah, that's pretty much true. Uh, we're pretty good at estimating things relatively. No, we just suck in a relatively different way. Uh, velocity is a good tool. Um, yeah, that's velocity or, or throughput cycle time. Any of those are also all good techniques um, for, for improving, getting better data. Uh, we're a bit behind, but we'll make it up in testing. Nope, we're not going to do that. Um, scope creep. Yeah, we got scope creep. Um, Having more estimators, this is the wisdom of crowds. Yep, that can, that can definitely help. Uh, or more people involved in the estimation. Uh, project success is determined by on-time delivery. Um, it, some organizations it does, unfortunately, but we want to move towards more value-oriented, outcome-oriented uh, view. And then estimation is waste. I'm look, let's consider that plausible. So, uh, so now what? So let me go through how I, how I approach teams to, to work. I've found that this worked very well for me in getting, dealing with the trade-off of what's the right level of estimation, what's the right level of predictability that we need. Um, the particular exercise we're going to go through where you're going to live this, uh, called a simulation exercise, you're going to get a set of stories. I, and I don't know if the stories are already handed out. Or you got, Okay, you're already looking at them. You're already cheating. Okay, that's. <laughs> um, so there's going to be a set of stories, and on each story, you're going to have a sum of, you're going to have a value proposition, and then you're going to have a test, okay? And you're going to be looking at the common, the trade-off between the value proposition and the cost, which is, the cost is your estimate of how many rolls it'll take to make the test, okay? Some of them are very easy. You'll almost certainly make it in one roll. Some of them may take multiple rolls, okay? So that's what we're going to be looking at is two sides of estimation. I consider estimation to be, to be, Two pieces. One is a value estimation. The other is a cost estimation. Both are necessary. The primary, the primary thing you're trying to do is understand what your priority is because you want to work on, on the things that are the, the highest value for the investment. Okay. So in order to do that, you got to know a little bit about cost. You got to know a little bit about value. Um, if you want to assume everything's the same cost and go through a no estimates, that can be done. It may or may not be a good idea. Up to you. Um, what I use is something called ABCs of prioritization, sort of keep it ba very basic, a, a lot like Moscow. Anyone here familiar with Moscow? Fair number with Moscow? Um, I don't like Moscow for one particular reason, and I think it, it, it's the power of language. Uh, Moscow uses must, shoulds, and coulds. So must is pretty obvious. The one I hate is should, because if I don't deliver on a should, that sounds like I'm bad. So I work a little bit differently. I said that there's A's, which are must. This is, uh, it, the nice thing about ABCs is it's very basic. It's, it's, I call it Moscow for preschoolers sometimes, but it, everyone seems to get it pretty well, and it it's also doesn't have that same loaded, loaded message. So A's are must be 
uh, completed. The B zero wishes, right? The shift in wording from should to wish is very significant. Wishes are things that when you get them, you're happy, okay? As opposed to shoulds, and when you don't get them, you're unhappy. It's a very significant difference in the relationship you have between the development team and the business and the product manager. And then C's are the things I think are still valuable, but they're not, they're not even in the consideration. They're not in the target. Um, I'm only going to be allowed as a product owner to, com to communicate to customers based on A features. I can't talk at all about B's and C's. And the other, when you know, we're looking at the overall release plan, if more than 50% of the effort allocated to A items it is allocated to A items, then I consider the release plan at risk. I want to build in enough buffer that I can deal with what I know to be sort of the, vari the overall uh, normal variation in, in estimation. So this is sort of the, this is the approach that we're going to be uh, working with today. Um, as I go through this, this the, the reason this approach generally tends to work pretty well is, is as I'm looking at a timeline here, you know, I've identified, you know, working with the marketing team and with, with other parts in the business, we generally come together and we say, this is sort of nominally our target that we're working with. And we might be doing some rollout or something. If I start to plan this out and I look at the A's and it comes with only half the time, that's my backlog, that's my initial plan. What I'm actually going to deliver, this is, you know, this is if it was sort of an, in a general, what we've seen when we've been recording this, if it, on average, We'll deliver our A's and we'll be about on target if, we've, if we have adjusted ourselves so that our bias is accounted for. Because, you know, first thing is you got to know how bad or good you are. And once you know how bad or good you are, um, you can adjust your bias a little bit with your historical data so that you're, if you're always coming in underestimating, you can correct for that. But if we deliver all the A's, then we have some time left over. It turns out that by the time the product owner, you know, learns more information, some of the C's turned out to be more important than some of the B's, and we come up with some items that are D's that are totally new that we discovered uh, in the process. So that'd be typical. But if we have a particularly bad situation, the only thing we may deliver is A's. We, we may have a situation where the uncertainty is so great that all we deliver is A's. And this gives us the b ability to, to balance the overall um, uh, uncertainty and still guarantee to the business and the, the product owner that they'll get the things that they absolutely have to have. So the structure I use, as I said, I consider estimation, you know, typically in our industry, estimation is used mostly for cost. I, I consider that estimation is predominantly, is, is a value and a cost situation, and is predominantly driving the business question, what do I do, when do I do it? So it's a prior, if I'm doing prioritization, to me, if you're doing prioritization, you're doing estimation, because you're estimating a value. And actually what you're estimating is not just a value, you're estimating a value per return. Okay, so how I like to look at it, I like to look at them both at the same time. Some structure in terms of just ballpark, uh, t-shirt sizing, small, medium, large, extra large. If you feel more comfortable putting numbers around that, go ahead. Uh, similar on the cost side, okay? Then priority is driven by the trade-off. Things up here in the green are the good things. Do those first. Things down here in the red, do them last or don't do them at all, right? It's not, you know, that's very low value for the return, or very low return for the investment. When you get into these, it's a bit of a trade-off question, right? They're, because nominally, this is a set, these all look up and down that. So this is, that's what we're going to use. Now, does everyone have all the, uh, we've got cards out? Okay. What's that? Okay. You can <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. Okay. Okay, we're going to have you handing it out. So what we're going to do first, um, you've got a set of stories. So let's go through again, look at the story, pull up a couple, have a couple of them out there. And we've also got some, uh, actually, you think I should hand out the score sheets later? We'll, we'll, hand, we'll get started on this first. Okay. So on your table is already this chart, okay? Everyone's ready to, to already get ready started on that. What we're going to do is we're going to look at all the stories that we have. So actually, maybe I can get two stories for me here. Uh, uh, I wanted to do. Uh, okay, that's fine. 
OK. Um, maybe just borrow one. Can I borrow story one and two? Oh, you don't have it yet? You have it? <laughs> OK, I'll take this one. And I'll get it. OK. I'll take story one and two. OK. OK, so you each have 10 stories to work with, all right? So on there, just as you're going through and looking at them, there's a value proposition, which is what you're going to get. And there's also um, a test. And the test is the indication of how, what the cost is going to be. I'll just give you an example. We'll go through an example story that we're working on. So we're going to, in the process of doing it, so you can get the uh, essence of what we're going to do. We're going to pull this story into the backlog. So this is a story we're going to work on. We're only working on one story at a time when we pull it in. So here we roll the dice. The test is to roll three dice. Um, pay no attention to this fourth dice. It was, uh, I have a more, a more complicated version of this, in which case we always run four dice. But this, this version, if it says to roll three dice, only roll three dice. Okay? And the test is, so this is the three dice we're looking at. And the test is here, roll three dice, and two or more dice are the same. So in this case, we don't have two or more dice the same. So we fail this test. Okay? So that cost us one roll. That was one, one roll. So we continue to work this story until we get the test. And here we roll it. And now we get a three, a three, and a one. Okay? Passes the test. Okay? So what's the value? Seven. Awesome. Did you learn that from Naresh's program that does you know, <laughs> Naresh has his math calculation thing. So at a high level, here's what we're going to do. We're going to run three iterations with 10 rolls of the dice per iteration. So just so you have an idea of how big this thing is. We're working on one story at a time. Your management wants you to commit to six stories for the release. They say commit to six stories for the release. And when, when you're pulling it into the iteration, since there's three iterations, they would say, let's pull it, let's going to get you to commit to two stories per iteration. So that's their decree to you. Six stories per the, per, uh, the release and two per iteration. We're going to score points for accepted stories. And then this is just a thing. Value is just an estimate. At the end, we're going to do some uh, magic and some other things will happen. So keep you in suspense on that. So now the next step we're going to do is release planning. So in the release planning, your first step is to look over the stories, and then you're going to look at whether there's the, um, the cost is going to be in the small, medium, or extra large. You're also going to, and that's going to be along the x-axis. You're going to look at the, uh, estimating the value that you're going to get from it. And we're going to do a lot of relative estimation relative to one another. We'll then do the prioritization based along the diagonal. And you need to commit to at least six stories. Okay? We're going to keep, keep track of two types of value. There's, there's value points and there's committal points. So value points we're going to do based on the value of the dice uh, that, the, that the test says. And on the commit basis, you'll get 10 points per committed story that you make. But if you don't make one, you get zero. Okay? And the same thing on the iteration. You're going to get, well, when you get to the iteration, you go five per iteration. So right now focuses on release planning, OK? So we're going to get this going on release planning. Then I'll come back and go through a little bit more on the iteration planning. Pretty clear? Not clear? Not clear. Not clear. OK. That's fine. It usually, usually takes a while to get things going. So what we're going to do, I'm going to give you, let me see. yeah, OK. We're going to start with this baseline. We're going to take each of the two stories. So I've got two stories here, story one and story two. So I'm going to look at story one. Story one says, roll three dice, and two or more are the same. This is the one we just did. What's that? Oh, who don't? OK. Oh, OK. Yeah, I, we ended up with more people here than I thought. I, I brought a bunch of dice thinking I'd have. So it's two dice, roll once, and then roll twice, and then that's the third. Yeah, OK. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was expecting. I was expecting to have about six tables, that's, but, but uh, we've ended up with 12, so that's, that's forgot about that. OK, so, so we have two dice to work with, and we'll, figure, we'll, we'll improvise here. 
What's that? So yeah, yeah. So we just that's just a distraction here. So let's get back to the to the, to the release planning side. So release planning. What we're going to do is we're going to estimate these stories along the diagonal here. So this number one, roll three dice, and two or more are the same. Where do you think? How how hard does that look to be? Pretty pretty simple, simple medium somewhere. Yeah, there's a there's, yeah. Let's just say it's medium. Let's we'll start it as a medium. I don't know what it it's where, what it really is. We're going to start it as a medium, and then the the value is the sum of all the dice. So there's three dice involved, and we're going to sum it up. Medium. I, we'll just say let's just say it's in the middle here. Okay. So we're going to start with that. Then what we'll do is we'll take the because it, well, it doesn't matter if this if this is in the wrong place, we can just adjust it later. We'll just shift things around. So what we're really trying to do is get a a, a judging place here. So value number two is we're going to roll four dice and two or more are the same. So when we roll four dice and two or more are the same, is that easier or harder than the first one? Easier. easier. It's easier. So it's somewhere, it's somewhere to this side. And then the value is the sum of the matching dice. It's going to be more or less. But only the matching dice, realize. Matching dice. So most of the time, it'll only be two dice, probably, right? Sometimes you could might you know, if you get three matching, but so probably down here. Just just as a guess, it's it's probably like that. That's the relative work you're going to be doing, and we're going to map it out. And if this happened to be in the wrong place, it's not that big of a deal because it may just be you may be skewed one direction or other because all you're looking for is this relative priority to to work from. Does that make sense? Okay. So. We're going to start with this section, and then we'll, we'll go into a little bit more detail. So I think uh, these are yours here, right? So everyone should have 10 stories. Everyone should have 10 stories. We won't be doing anything with dice for a little bit. So, so we're just going to be working on creating the, the estimation backlog. All right? Yeah, give them five minutes. Let's give them six. How are we doing on time? 20 minutes? This should be fine. So now we'll have to just, um, how about, Seth, why don't you take those two tables over there? Um, how about you want to take uh, a table by the door and then the one in the middle at the back? Okay. Hit, take. It'll be the last of these, right? Yeah, but I don't want to distract them too much yet. Give them a hand amount, but don't. Yeah. So you're gonna take two. Each one of you take. You take two. You take two. Okay. okay yeah. You want three? That's for one table. Yeah. Um, okay, so do you want to pass something out? Yeah, some of them have it, um, but not all of them do. So they just, all of them need one of those. Okay. So we just, we'll just make sure they all get it. And, I, and I've got some spares here. I've got some. Here. I think this, this, and this, this, and this is another one. What's this? Oh, maybe that's this one. Somebody's missing a six. A number six? Yeah. Uh, we can find a six. We may have to make a six out of here. Uh, okay, I have a six. Oh yeah. Make them a six. <laughs> yeah, make a six. Just cut. Just yeah, tear it up. Select the 
time, the time is good because after learning of all the sessions, yes, this yes. is a good session for them to execute. Execute, yep. Exp yeah. We'll see their experience now. I'll see. We should have enough. Should be just enough, probably. I think. One time, you just get one die. Just so one, time. one die. Well, yeah. So the cost. So you're sort of, I mean, blocked out a bit. So yeah, you're good. It's going to get chaotic, and, and it, it's going to get more chaotic as we go. So, <laughs> so it starts from confused chaos to just sort of really energetic chaos pretty soon. So let's let's uh, let's take a step. Check in. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. Okay. So it looks like. People were making pretty good progress. Is anyone just totally stumped here? It's totally stopped? Everyone's making some okay progress. Okay, that's okay. We don't have to absolutely be done. What I need now, our step right now, we've got our things laid out, and we're going to be committing, management wants you to commit to six stories for the release. Okay? So we're going to be choosing our top six stories. And how we're going to be doing that is by looking at the matrix and working down the diagonal, working down the cross diagonal there, okay? That's going to be your next step, is to sign up for six stories, okay? Um, what we have also, we've just passed out, every team should have a score sheet, okay? Okay, hey, hey, listen, listen up, listen up. Every team should, every team should have a score sheet, okay, uh, that we hid and told you to not look at. Now we're going to look at that a little bit. On the score sheet, I'm just going to get it for a hot. Uh, there's two of them. One is going to be your score sheet that you keep during the iteration. I'm not going to worry about that one right now. I'm going to come back to that one. The one that matters right now is this one, which is sort of your layout of your release plan. What we're going to do for each story, you're going to mark it here quickly, whether it's an A, B, or C. And the A's will be your top six. Okay? You're going to have at least six that you're going to commit to that are A's. So you're going to mark on the score sheet which six stories you're committing to for this release, okay? You've got to commit to at least six. On, some of them are marked on the, on the cards. Don't worry about the cards themselves. This will be on the sheet, on this score sheet, okay? Yeah, we reused the cards from, we did this at my office the other day, and so we, we reused the cards, and some of them have some markings on them, okay? What's that? What? Okay, <laughs> yeah. The category. Um, this category? Is um, totally meaningless, okay? It's, just, it's, it's in there. Okay, all right. So, um, does everyone understand where we're at right now with the score sheet, right? This is what our next step is going to be to commit to six stories. Okay. Oh, Mike? Oh, Mike, Mike. Okay, Mike, Mike. Okay. <laughs> I got to remember, when the power goes out, the mic goes too. Okay. Um, all right, good. Now, what we're also, I want to just go through just sort of how this is going to flow a little bit too. Just give you, now, now you're going to sign up for six, six for, the, for the commitment. When we do it, we're going to go through three, S three iterations of 10 stories. And um, actually, I, let, we can come back to that. Let's go ahead and get the, the sign up. And I'm going to give you, um, we should be, everyone should be pretty close to being able to do the sign up. So let's give them like two, three minutes or what? To do, yeah, really, to, to make the commitment, okay? Six stories. Six stories. Management wants to commit to at least six stories for the, the, iterate, for the, for the release. For the release. Then we're going to get into the iterations, and we'll work. And that's when we get to roll the dice. Then we get to play with the dice, OK? So, <laughs> good hand. OK, so give you a couple minutes here to get your, to get your um, release plan done. When your team has your release plan, 
When you have your release plan done, raise your hand, okay? Is six story, you've got your stories, when you've got your stories bucketed into A, Bs, and Cs, get your stories bucketed into A, Bs, and Cs, the A's are the ones you're committing to for the release. You have to. You want to commit to. You have to commit to six. So the, there have to be six A's. Yeah. So even so, your B's, will, your top B's will become A's based on this. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're not supposed to have those. <laughs> oh no. Does anyone have more than ten? Is there only one group that had that? That must have been. The, I guess that was me who handed that one out. Everyone should have ten. Like that. So now, now we just ask them to come out the release commitment, right? Release commitment, yeah. Then we are planning iteration. Yeah. 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 Do we have to kind of mark which one we want to use? Awesome. Good job. Yeah. Are people we're getting close here? We're getting the top six stories will all be A's. Their six commitments will be A's. Okay? You're good? Awesome. Anybody stuck? Let's have a six A's. Six A's, yeah. So your B's will become six. Your B's will become A's. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're, you can decide how, whether you want to call the rest C's or B's. Doesn't it? But right now we're, we're going to get the, we're going to end up at this six A's, and then the rest are B's or C's, and 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 you have and you have sort of a priority queue. Right, because we're asking you to commit. To, so all, the, the, you will be working something faster, perhaps. So we still prioritize it. Who does not have their priority queue? Those six A's. They got their commitment. Six. They should be at six A's. Is anyone not there yet? You're not there yet. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we need. We need some help there. Actually, maybe not. we're not too bad. All right. Who? We still, people are starting, are we ready to start getting, okay, no dice, <laughs> no rolling of dice yet, no, no, we shouldn't be playing, okay, are you already rolling? No, no, don't, no, no, no don't, don't roll yet, no dice yet. I know everyone's anxious to get moving, right? but we've got, we've all got to go at the same pace and everyone has to help that team back there. All right, all right, all right, now if you don't have six stories signed up right now, management's going to be very mad and sign them up for you. Okay, everyone have six stories signed up? Yes. Yes. Oh, that was really fast now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that works. It works. You're playing managers. I'm playing, yeah, it works. All right. You got, you got signed. Okay, all right. we'll be checking. We'll check it. Okay, we have six. We got six stories signed up. We're committed to. Now we're going to get into iterations. Okay? So for the first iteration, we're going to go into iteration one. Ten rolls of the dice. Each dice, each dice roll is... You check it against the test, right? If it test passes, you do it. So we're going to estimate. So first thing we're going to do, we've got a release plan. We don't have any new stories coming in right now. We're going to est we're going to you know, adjust. We should be pretty good with this for the first iteration. Now we're going to sign up. Management wants you to sign up for at least two stories for the iteration. Commit to two stories for the iteration. Okay? So we're going to pull your your stories that you want to pull in. Now, based on how you commit here, you're going to get five points per committed story that you deliver in the iteration. If you don't make that commitment, it goes to zero. Okay? That means zero for, every, for, the whole, for that, that whole iteration for commitment. Okay? So if you commit to two stories and you don't make it, you get zero. If you commit to two stories and make it, you get ten points. Okay? Um, a couple of special actions, just so you know, too. If you get stuck on a story, and you don't want it, and, and you want to abandon it. It's okay. You just, it just, you just as if you didn't work on it. It's just dead code, right? Um, it's also okay to redo a story. You know, we can either you know, redo or refactor the story. Uh, all we do is we just pull it back into the backlog. So, so we've done it, but we're not happy with the value we got, right? So it passed the test, but the value is really weak. We might say, well, let's, 
you know, we've finished our up and we're going to pull it back in. So we're going to pull it back in, sort of like a refactoring or redoing or whatever, and we just work on it again. And if it doesn't pass, we still can revert back to what, what did pass, okay? So it's okay to, do, to redo it. You can't do a story to get points for it twice. You just get points for it one time, but you can get the higher of the two if you, if you have capacity to work on it that way. So that's just some strategy things you can work with. Um, otherwise, I, if we had more space, I would use a pro progress board. Uh, we don't have the, y yes, question? Well then, yeah, you can abandon the story. If you, now, if you're committed to it and you abandon the story, that means your commitment is at risk. Yeah, so you get zero for the whole iteration, right, for that. So, so it, might more, it would more likely be a story you didn't commit to if you're going to abandon it. Like if you maybe try something else, okay? Okay, all right, keep quiet here. Let's, let's keep, keep going here. Um, as we get, so I'm, I'm going to, say let's go ahead and we'll do the commitment and we'll go ahead and start the dice rolling, okay? Okay, because I know everyone's anxious to get rolling dice because it's... <laughs> okay, you guys, are, it, the commitment should be pretty fast here, I think, you got this because this, you already spent a fair amount of time committing your top six. So we're going to commit the top two to the iteration. We're going to start rolling dice. When we start rolling the dice... What happened here? This looks funny. Okay. We're going to record the dice. Yes, yes, question? What's that? Color coding on the header. Oh, the color coding on the header. Okay. okay, this is just dice one, dice one, dice two, dice three, dice four, okay? Normally, I would have, I had to have four color coded dice, and, and uh, but what we're going to have to do is dice one, dice two, dice three, dice four. And, uh, hey, 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 listen, let's, let's, let's keep, I know that there's going to be some questions here on the, on the scorekeeping. So the question is, what are these, these color codes? Normally, I would have had, I'd have four, four of the same, or four different colors of dice. Uh, we don't need the four different colors. We just need four dice or, or whatever it says, whether it's two or three. Uh, so we only have two per table, um, which is unfortunate, but that will make it work. So if it says to roll three dice, you'll have to roll two dice, and then you have to pick one of them. You'll have to remember what one of them was and then roll again, okay? You'll record that. Dice one, dice two, dice three, okay? For the, if it doesn't pass, so for some reason, I don't know what, what happened here, but what you do is you would still record, oh, I know why this is. Ignore the blank ones here, okay? Because I, I was, this was part of my more exo uh, exotic version of this, but you're gonna say, so this is your first day here, you roll, you're gonna work on story four and you happen to roll that, okay? and you get a value 60 if you passed, okay? You got very lucky, right? Because you, you took one of the hard ones and got a big point. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna record dice. The story you're working, the first thing you'll do is pull the story into the, to the backlog and you'll record the iteration one, or, or uh, roll one of iteration one, day one iteration one, you're working this story, okay? So everyone will pull out their, you'll commit to two and you'll pull the top one in and that's the one you're working. Okay, you'll work that one and whatever the test says. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it says to roll three dice, it, you'll roll two dice and then you'll roll a third dice and you'll record your dice as you go. Okay? And then. Well, no, there's room for four iterations. Ignore the, ignore the fourth one. Okay? What, so what we'll do, as we'll roll the dice, we'll roll, we'll pull the, st first step, you'll pull, all right, 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 quiet, quiet, all right, all right, you guys are, most crowd control's tough here, man, okay, so we're going to, I, we're going to pull, first step we'll do is pull the story in, okay, so we're going to pull a story, it says, it says, it says to roll three dice, we're going to roll two dice, record the two, and then we're going to roll the third one. Okay, yes, question? <laughs> okay, there, okay. Okay, all right. Quiet! Quiet, 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 quiet. Oh, you guys are excited here. Gosh. Okay. Okay, first step commit to two stories. Second step pull one of those stories in, record it in this, in this here. Okay? Next step. 
Roll the, do roll the two dice, okay? Because every, except unless you're pulling a story in that's only rolling one dice. If it says to roll one dice, you roll one die. If it says to roll two, you roll two. If it says to roll three, you roll two, and then you roll another one, okay? So you roll two, record it, and then roll another one, okay? Is that part clear? Okay. If it passes the test, if it passes the test, you will record the value, okay? Ignore the release and iteration commitment until you finish the iteration, okay? So we'll just be working up to here, and then at the end of the iteration, we'll figure out what you got for iteration, okay? The 60 came for this one because the test for this one was that it was three numbers in a row, and it was the product of the three numbers in a row, so it was three times four times five. Okay. So the, the te you, it'll pass the test. Once it, pa once it passes the test, you'll get the value from that. Okay? Okay? Once you've passed it, you record the value here. Okay? Now, does that make sense for this? And then you'll go on to the next one. Yes, question back here? If it fails, you just keep moving. Okay? The, st the story stays in the queue. You continue to work on it until it passes. If you want to abandon the story, you can abandon it and pull a new story in. You, had to, you either, what's that? You get 10 rolls, you get 10 rolls for the iteration. You can commit to more than two if you wish. No, no, you only get the, you have to commit at the beginning. You, if you, can, you can also pull new stories in. What's that? There, no, no. If you miss your commitment, you get zero points. For, no, for that, it, you get zero commitment points. We're keeping commitment points and value points. For the entire iteration. The commitment is... Hey, everyone, let's, let's repeat the steps. Hey, hey, hey. What? Time? Okay, one... Action you're committed to. So like in this case, I'm going to commit story one to iteration one. Okay, so your two that you're going to commit to will be marked, at least two that you're going to commit to. You'll mark that on this score. The other thing that if you'd like, if you want to record the cost, it's optional but it's sometimes useful, you can record the cost when you finish the story. The number of rolls, number of rolls, okay? So those, you've got two, two, score keeper, two score cards you're keeping. Yes, what's that? The cost will be how many rolls it takes to get it to pass. So the number of rolls it takes to pass. So you're, yeah, and you're only, you're already on the two, two iteration two. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> we just started iteration so what one. What we did was we committed for six in an iteration. You uh, commit we committed for six in a release. Yeah, and you make. We did five in the first iteration. So you committed to six in the iteration. We committed to six in a release, but we did the first two. We were Okay, so so you committed to the two. You committed to the two already. So you committed to the, you only committed to the two, but you ended up pulling in five. Okay. So you now are on the next one. This one, fourth one. Fourth the fourth one is, one is, 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 okay, yes, exactly. That's, that's not a surprise. New items, you're working against your release commitment, right? Or you can pull, or you can pull something in that's, uh, uh, that's something you're, that, uh, I mean, you, can, you just pull anything in or you, yeah. You finish five. If you've done one iteration, you've done five. Here, facilitators. Okay. Some of you may not be done with round one yet, but you're getting close. So, okay, let's take a. Hey, 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 hey. Checkpoint, checkpoint, checkpoint. Okay. I think everyone's pretty close to finishing round one. Okay, right? Okay. We're gonna. Go, I'm gonna go ahead and start passing out. We've got. You know, product management has been out to see some customers, and we've got two new stories coming in. Okay. All right? Yes. But you're ready for them, right? Yes. Yeah. Ready for them. Give us more. Give us more. All right. So here's what we're going to do. You're gonna, when you get into iteration planning, so finish out the iteration first. Don't pull any of these into, in, if you haven't finished iteration one, finish iteration one first. I'm just going to try to keep things moving here. We're now going to hand out these two stories and you're going to reprioritize a little bit. You're going to jigger your prioritization and figure out where these fit in and, and then basically start up again. 
Now remember, your, six, your release commitment is still a release commitment, okay? You can't get out of your release commitment, but we're going to give you these two new stories, okay? So everyone ready for them? Okay, I think they're over here. So they'll be passing out the, the two new stories. They'll be story number 11 and number 12, okay? 11 and 12. Okay, you guys have already seen them. <laughs> and they didn't... Okay, iteration two. We're going to we're going to reprioritize. We're going to recommit and okay? It should go much faster iteration two once you got once you got some tr traction here. All right. You ready to start? Okay, go ahead and go ahead and make your commitments. Sign your commitments up on this. Yeah, no, no, which ones did you commit? Two? You only committed two. If you committed two, yeah, the ones you committed to, mark them here. Uh, the, the ones you didn't commit to, um, it, it, it was five and six. Just circle them. Yeah, so you know. Okay, and, and you can't commit. Yeah, it is significantly harder with this many. It's significantly harder. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're doing good. You're stuck. Oh, no. oh. So, uh, can we, can we uh, drop that and take another story? Yeah, 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 you can drop it and put another story if you want. Yeah. All right, how are we doing? Pretty good? How, who, who's done with iteration two? Iteration two? You done with iteration two? Done with iteration two? Okay. Who need, done with iteration two? Done? Yeah? Done? Done with iteration two? Done with iteration two? You're done? Do, doing, yeah, but you're, you, you, yeah, you want to be done with all ten rolls. All ten rolls. So we got an executive injector and a customer request coming in. So 13 and 14. These, we're going to start iteration three. We're starting iteration three. Same, same basic story. Same, same program. Two new stories coming in. The special, they have the special orange version. Okay, iteration three, commit to at least two stories and then get rolling. Okay. And yeah, I think I met him. Yeah, exactly. One of the best energetic sessions in the conference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're done. Done with everything. No cost. At no penalty, and get more value. So you can take one of the stories that has a potential up to one turn. Right. So we cannot better that now. No, it's not the cost. It's the value. You recorded a value here, right? Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. What? All right. All right, how, time, time. <laughs> okay, next step we're going to do. Several teams have finished all three iterations. If you, if you haven't, it's okay. We'll continue to that. But the step we're going to, so we can get moving on here, the next step we're going to do, make sure on this sheet now we're going to record what value each story got. Okay, if you hadn't already been doing that, use, if, switch over to this sheet. You, you've got sort of two sheets to record this on. Now record the value that you got. And now that you've done this also, if it was part of your iteration, if it was part of your release commitment and you made it, then you'll get your 10 points per story that you committed to. So if you committed to six stories and you made all six of those in the release, then you'll get your 10 points per story. Okay? If you committed to seven stories, you could get 70 points, okay, if you made them all. I think most people probably committed to six because that's all I, I told you, but, but if you wanted to commit to seven, you could have. Okay? Um, keep that under the release commitment points, okay? So keep this separate, value points, release commitment points, and iteration commitment points. So when you made, if you made it during your iteration, you'll get those five points per story you committed to, okay? Cost is less important, you sh I think we've been recording that. 
So do you understand that? Everyone understands that? Okay. We're going to have three columns of points. The value that you recorded if you made the story. If you committed to it in the release and you made it, you'll get 10 points for that story. Okay? If you committed to it and you didn't make it, you get zero for all of them. If you, didn't make a if you didn't make one of your release commitments, you'll get zero release commitment points because you didn't make, you signed up for something that you, and you didn't make it all the way through. Okay? If you made it, you'll get your 10 points per story that you committed to. If you made stories you didn't, extra stories that you didn't commit to, they just are not counted. They're if you, for the release, it's only for the, it's, it's all of them. I'll return. For the iteration commitment, it's just the iteration. And you and you made those two, you're good. If you didn't make it, you got zero. Yeah. Okay. So everyone understand that? Per story, look on a per story basis. Record your value, the value of the, the from the story. Record the release commitment points that you made, and record the iteration commitment points that you made. Include that for these extra stories, 11, 12, 13, and 14, okay? And then tally up those three columns, okay? So we'll have three separate columns here. Yeah, I, I can, I can, I can, I can let me see if I can type it in. Okay, so I put this up just as an example here, work this out, recording value, recording release commitments, and recording iteration commitment. Okay? Make sense? Okay? You still rolling? Okay. Last roll. Okay. okay, so sum up the three columns. Everyone should be ready to sum up your three columns now, right? Sum up the three columns. We'll have a value points, we'll have a release commitment points, and then we'll have an iteration commitment points. Once you have those three columns, the value, the value assessment at this, this organization is the total value is your value points plus half your release commitment plus half your iteration commitment points, okay? This is just an arbitrary thing. I w if, if, I, if I had a little bit more time, I'd actually do a, something a little bit more complicated, but I just arbitrarily said this is, <laughs> well, you know, navigating through all the uh, chaos is a little bit, uh, a little bit much. But we're doing good, we're doing good. We've got a few minutes left. So let's go ahead and see where we're at with these total points. When you've got it, give your total points. Give all three numbers plus your total. The fourth number is your total, okay? So give three numbers plus the total out to, and, and when you're done with it, write it, write it on, a, on, a, uh, on a note and, and get it to one of the facilitators.
the new stories that came in can't be counted against the release commitment. All right, how are we doing? See yeah, our team name is Stone, liquid, liquid, liquid stones. All right. <laughs> okay, who else? Who hasn't turned it in yet? <laughs> who needs to tur you turned it in? Turn it in. You're still waiting, still calculating. No, already You've already turned it in. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. We need to correct that. Which so one? Crazy, yeah. Crazy? First one, first one, the first one. Yeah. Uh, this uh, one. This one. Okay. It's uh, 60 by 2. Okay. Where's the... the hot? Okay, we got it. Okay. 215. Okay, awesome. Okay. Who has not given me their score sheet? This one. This one. one in. Late. Uh, you need a team name? Yes, yeah, yeah. Unknown. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, 271. 271. Okay. Too many maps. Okay. <laughs> okay. Whoops. You ready? Okay. Uh, we've already given you one, but that has the wrong calculation. Okay, which Team, one? Team uh, navigator. This one? This is right. This is right. Okay. Very clear. Okay. Okay. And you have a name? You have a name here? You have a name? Put a name on. What's your name? Okay. Let's go ahead. We, I think we're already over here, so let's let's uh, wrap up. You get the value points, but not the commitment points. Are you sure everybody did it that way? I have no idea how anyone did anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, rules are meant to be broken, I guess. That's, 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 I we went in a strategy like PLPM. Okay. Less, provide more. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that was that's a, that's we'll see how, we'll see what's how things work. Okay, as they're finishing up, we'll, I'll, let me go ahead and, and, and read what we got here. We got, uh, I got Team Crazy coming in at 215. Right. Table by the door, that's a good name. 230. <laughs> Liquid Stone came in at 245 and a half. Yay! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got the audience. Yeah, you guys, we could go at this for a long time. Bring, bring the audit in here. See, see, start putting people in jail here for you know. <laughs> Two forty-nine for unknown team unknown team unknown. Uh, table one is a two hundred three and a half. I think is this table one here close? To What's that? At least three. Th yeah. <laughs> They see, they're, they're doing it very carefully. They called for the audit before they turned theirs in. Yeah. <laughs> now they wait. Now they create the mess, create the mess, and then they come in and sneak it in underneath. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. So do you have a number back there? Yeah. Two fifty-six. All right. All right. Good job. Made up number. <laughs> well, the whole game is made up. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Next one. We have uh, the Navigators. At 329 and a half. <laughs> Let's see, we have. What? I didn't do. T what happened to Team Lee? <laughs> 307. Let's see, this is. Superstars are 307. Yeah. All right. Uh, 271 for Team Lean. All right, good. What do we have here? Two, 256. And then 
So Navigator's 329 and a half, and the best one I had, looks like the one is the last Beach Boys plus Curious Tester. 345 and a half. 345 and a half. All right, the winners. They get their bonus. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, a couple of things. Uh, we are running late, but we'll, we'll see. Is there something at 530? That's a... The, the next session, there's something at 5.30, right? Nothing here? Okay. No, but is, isn't there some, something on the main ballroom or something? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we'll try to finish this up. But I'll do a quick retrospective here. Um, the first one, did you have fun? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. It looks like it was pretty good energy here. A little crazy, but yeah, it's good. What's that? A lot of chaos. Yeah, we had chaos. Yes, we definitely had chaos. I think I predict that. See, I can predict something. I predicted there'd be chaos, and there was. Okay, so that was that was pretty good. Um, so, what'd you learn? Anything? anything? Does anything come out that? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. Okay, good. How was it? Fairly easy to to do it relatively quickly and, and then also how accurate was it was it did it do any any indication as to whether he did did a good job of it or did it you know was it pretty easy to yeah. okay good you had a it was hard the first time but it got really good after yes yeah it was ex extreme chaos at the beginning and then and then, and then performance chaos after that okay yeah yeah Estimates don't matter. Just do it. Just do it. Okay, that's possible. <laughs> Did anyone use no estimates? Nobody. Nobody used no estimates. Okay. You could. <laughs> uh, what else? Anything else? What's that? The oh, you thought it was much lower. Okay, you thought it was going to be big, and it turned out to be a dud. Right? Does that ever happen in software? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, you had a comment over here. I think. What's that? Under commit. Under, under commit and over, over deploy. Yeah, okay, that's good, yeah. And don't take the stories when uh, I can use in working program. Okay. Don't take any new code if you can't commit. Okay, like okay. 11, 11, 11. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't cheat. Don't cheat, yeah, okay. 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 So how, what, what are sort of the things that are like software development and what are some of the things that maybe you're a little, or are, 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 uh, Misinterpret or um, not quite right in terms of the simulation. Value in uh, software engineering, the value is not very clear as if it's clear here. Like the right. Right. Value and the effort or the work that's very done. Right. Right. Value is not easy to estimate in every software engineering. Yeah, the value is not easy to estimate. And in fact, if I would do something more complicated, if if we had a little bit more time and probably had had uh, corralled some things in, where value would have been even more uncertain. That would I would have added some uncertainty to value that came in later. Uh, I also do some things where uh, uh, mo uh, most teams got almost all the stories, right? You got quite, quite. So uh, it, sometimes when I do this in a, in a more complicated, um, I'll make a deal where if one team does a story and no other team does that story, then their value gets to be more, right? Because then they're differentiated in the marketplace. So I pull some other things in, but we didn't do that for this one. So, so. Uh, but uh, yeah, value is one of those things that, and the other thing is to notice that some of the stories value was very um, random, right? It, it was a big gap in terms of value from almost n like six to 120, I think, on, on one of them. So big range of value. Software development is not rolling dice. Not rolling dice, exactly. It's a creative process, right? So this is just numbers, right? So it's, it's fun. You know, everyone had a good time, but software development is fun too. So yeah. But but Yeah. And then you say, uh, let's estimate for that. Yeah, exactly. So, so that was a similarity that I was thinking. Yeah, OK. Here's an interesting, what, what uh, impact did committing have on your behavior? You didn't do it. <laughs> so so I, 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 since we're running short of time, I'll, I'll just have a couple of observations I've had when I've, I've run this. Um, what I see happen is when, when, you, for, when you have the commitment, um, did anyone notice that they got more conservative? You got very conservative when you committed? Think about that in your 
regular software development too. How much is commitment impacting your risk of avoidance? Right? So you've got to balance it out. Why did they even com include commitment? What value does commitment points even have to the customer? Sometimes none, right? It's mostly politics. It's an internal thing. So you I could have said, had you set up with all these things having to tell you how to do commitments, and I could, I, I one version of this, I'll probably just zero the whole commitment thing out, right? So it, it's, it's a game sometimes we play. So what really matters to the customer is, is, the, uh, is, the, iter is the value you deliver. Um, I think there is, I, I tend to feel that there is at least a little bit of degree of value to the release element because that's the business object that actually matters. Iteration commitments to me are, rel I, I think, are overblown in our industry. I mean, I think it's a, it's a little bit of a, 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 almost an attempt at micromanagement. Now, that, given that, there are times where I absolutely expect a team to meet an iteration commitment. If you've got a trust problem, I actually think an iteration commitment and making sure that you can demonstrate delivery, and va delivery of value and delivery against commitments is a good thing. But if you've got a high trust environment, um, I tend to believe iteration commitments are actually creating uh, potentially bad behavior. Um, anything else? We're, I think we've got a five something coming up now. So, but you get a reward. <laughs> I would. They're bonus. <laughs> 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 yeah. The audit is done. yeah. After the audit's done, I'm gonna get. Ready. Yeah, this team's gonna work extra hours and do the do, do the audit. <laughs> and I think you. I, I think this team. This team gets the gets the weekend off. I think, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take the rest of the day off. I think that's that's what the, you, we get. So I wish, I wish I had something. So okay, thanks. We had I had fun. I hope you did too. Appreciate it. Yeah.